Hello and welcome back to another video in everyone's favorite series where we go through the desktop environments you can find in Arch Linux in alphabetical order and we install each and every one of them in alphabetical order. So last time we checked Bajil and then Cinnamon and now we are going to move to Cutefish and while I used both Budgie and Cinnamon and incidentally I started with Budgie then switched to Cinnamon and then switched to DWM so I personally am a big fan of alphabetical progression but I never had a chance to try out Cutefish which seemingly a very young project it doesn't even have its own ArchWiki page yet and if you click on their website link here that will lead you nowhere so maybe their domain name expired or something but if you click on the other icon uh, this one, which will lead you to the Arch Linux package website. You will find that this is a group. Actually, this is not its own package. It's a group of 13 packages, which contain, this is the core, which contains the main element of the desktop environment. But it has a calculator, file manager, icon theme, launcher, screen locker, settings, terminal, and even wallpapers. So I would think that we should just install this cute fish group together because uh, just judging by how much uh, it's uh, divided up into this core and launcher and dock, I would think that if you only install the cute fish core, well, he'll probably not be able to do much in this desktop environment. So if you want to find some information about it, you can just uh, check out the cute fish core package and uh, follow the link to the Cutefish uh, GitHub page if you are interested. And uh, well, there's not much uh, information here, but we can just install using Pacman, so it shouldn't matter. What I wanted to check out is the people who are contributors to this um, desktop environment, and I found these good people over here, and I know that this name so Felixian is an Arch Linux developer. So this has been, this uh, desktop environment has been developed by someone who is working on Arch Linux 2 and, uh, and other people together, of course. And well, why don't we just um, do what we should be doing here? And that is sudo pack man dash s cute fish. And I need to make sure that I am yeah, it's uh, none, there's no typo in here, cute fish. Well, it's not like uh, Pac-Man wouldn't uh, warn me. Okay, so this has all these 13 members and we will install all of them. Of course, if you don't want the calculator, you don't want the, I don't know, file manager, well, then you can re uh, leave that out. But this is definitely something that uh, the developers want us to have all of it. And well, Pipewire, well, I am not sure which one. I think it's Wire Palmer is currently the suggested one. And this will download 100 megabytes and only install 400. So let's um, install it and you can catch me when I boot back into the Cutefish desktop environment. All right, so Cutefish is now installed on our system and as someone who have used Mac OS for like 12 minutes throughout my whole life, it really reminds me to Mac OS and even this rocket for the launcher seems familiar, but I don't know. So this is kind of the menu where all your uh, applications should be showing up. And uh, so, for example, the calculator which got installed and while I personally don't like these kind of GUI calculators let's see how does it work well I should have done something like 2 plus 3 times 2 what is it yeah it's actually it actually at least it knows the precedence of uh, the uh, operators but what I have trouble seeing things here so the background is kind of beige and uh, the text is kind of narrow and hard to see. So we can go to the settings menu and we can change the appearance to dark. Maybe that will be a little, yeah, it's much better, much easier uh, to read. We can move our windows around if we want to. So there is the, what is this called? The, um, I don't know, power button and uh, you can 
connect to Wi-Fi. Oh, you can switch dark mode from here. That looks nice. Seems to me some fonts are not installed. So some fonts were not set as dependencies that we should definitely uh, be seeing here. Uh, that's interesting. What fonts are we missing? The clock itself also. Notification center also has something, some missing fonts. So this is a very new project and this is definitely not in its uh, final uh, stage. But there are, oh, I changed the animation <laughs> and the screen went dark for a bit. So what happens if I use this anime? Okay, nothing. But it requires to darken the screen to switch accent color. You can switch the accent colors, which is great. I love green as the accent color. Let's see the file manager it is using. And when I last time I made my video on file managers, I don't remember trying this out, but maybe I'm wrong. All right. So this is a simple but good looking file manager. And I can, I really appreciate that I just click here and I could get in to the whatever um, directories I wanted to. I can just, yeah, I click here, I can type the path. That's what I wanted to say. And if I just click on the icon, then, uh, or, or rather the name, I guess I can go to ST here, but then go back. I prefer uh, the Nemo desk, uh, or what desktop, the Nemo file manager, where if I go back, I can still see the last directories I was in. So it's going back and forth is easy, but whatever, this is not a review of the file manager. So that's it. So one problem I found is that in the current version, the display settings actually just open the uh, Wi-Fi settings, which is uh, weird. So I had to change the resolution from the terminal, but the terminal itself looks nice. Wow, green text. It is this change with the accent color. No, it's just, it's just green. I didn't re really realize it was green when I uh, used it to do X, R and R. So what else? Do we have NeoFetch installed? I think I did not install NeoFetch. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> definitely some font issues. So we need uh, fonts here. We can have our user set up from here. So this is kind of uh, your regular, I guess, um, settings panel that we have here. Some interesting, oh, fonts here. We have fonts here. So general font hinting, anti-aliasing, font size, free mono, switch to source code pro. I don't know, free serif. Does it make any difference? No. So for some reason, some characters are missing. So we, yeah, we'll definitely need different fonts than what we have on a default Arsenix system for everything to work, but I am not going to figure that out right now. So appearance, you already checked that. Backgrounds, there are a few default backgrounds here, or we could just uh, use solid colors if that's your uh, thing. But I think these pictures, they look they look fine. Let's go with this blue one. And one thing that I read about is, oh yes, that the menus. Okay, so the application menus appear on the top bar. So this is kind of like, I don't know, something I've seen in Mac OS. Oh, I can choose to view things as lists just on this one button over here. So the yeah, settings panel does not have separate menu. Does the terminal have a separate menu? No. And what happens if I press the super key, the windows key, nothing happens. All right, so one more thing we should check out is the dock. So we can have a full dock and then you don't see now about the trash can run to the right hand side and we, or we can just have a left dock or and we can always move this to the center. So it seems like, yeah, if it's in always show mode, let's make smart hide and then it will appear like this. So these are all the options we can have. We can 
You cannot even put it on the top of your screen because the top of your screen has this menu bar that you don't seem to be able to change. You can change the size though. Large, huge, medium, small, depending on your preference, I guess. And uh, always hide. Yeah, always hide will always hide and smart hide will only hide if I have an app in full screen, I guess. So, I don't know if this is going to be the end of it. This is a much shorter review than the other ones because it is definitely a work in progress. Looks nice. I like the design a lot. I don't like that it's <laughs> the customizations are not really, it's not really customizable. I mean, do we have, do we even have a, a chance to use multiple virtual desktops here? I don't see any settings for that, incidentally. Which is, uh, even the wallpaper in dark theme. That's an interesting option. System effects on, oh, yeah, just turn them on. Don't turn them off. <laughs> All right. So this aesthetically pleasing, which is, I guess, the goal here. And, uh, oh. These are some ugly mouse cursors. Uh, anyways, I guess uh, we have power saving and performance modes and things like that. Lock screen. How does the lock screen look like? Let's lock the screen. How do I lock the screen? Can I just lock the screen with uh, Windows L? No. Well, I don't see any. Do I press this button? Oh, that is very pretty. Lock screen. Let's see how lock screen looks like. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the fonts over there. Looks gorgeous. Why does it... I don't think... Yeah, why does it unlocking fails if I, even if I type in the correct password? All right. That is interesting. And I guess <laughs> that's the end of the video then. Um, yeah, cute fish. If you are interested in the project, I think I would suggest contributing to it or bug testing or, you know, install it, test it, report bugs, things like that. It's definitely couldn't suggest it for like full time use, but it's definitely an interesting project. If you want to see uh, this type of interface to succeed, then definitely go to their GitHub page and help the guys out. It is a new project only developed by five people. If I was correct in assessing their GitHub page and if my memory serves well. And, uh, you know, every project can use some help. So this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And the next one will be, I don't remember which one, maybe uh, Deepin is the next in the, in our um, alphabetical order. But whatever comes after cute fish in the arch wiki is going to be the next desktop environment we're going to take a look at. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.